come Saturday, I'm gonna fuck Gennady up. Have a good day. Better left hook that sent Curtis Stevens to the camp. Oh. On November 2nd, 2013, the middleweight champion, Gennady Golovkin, who was still in his prime, faced what would be one of the most dramatic fights of his career against Curtis Stevens. The American boxer had thoroughly provoked Golovkin's anger before the fight. Curtis Stevens, who had finished 18 of his 25 victories by knockout, was extremely confident in his ability to easily defeat Golovkin. He even promised to bury the Kazakh boxer after the fight. To further provoke, he staged a mock burial ceremony with his friends on social media where he posted, May your soil be rich, Triple G. You were a good guy. Curtis, it's my time, Stevens! This image instantly sparked heated discussions among fans and even Gennady, who is known for not easily getting angry, stated this time that his opponent had crossed the line, forcing him to make his opponent answer for these words. The anger and irritation the Kazakhstani felt towards his opponent could be clearly seen in his eyes, despite always treating his opponents with respect. Gennady, Triple G. already. Trunk levels are good. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. Here we go, guys. Another knockout puncher. You better believe it. From the very first seconds of the fight, both opponents tried to prove who was the true master of the ring. However, a sense of composure was evident from both sides. And he himself had a pretty good amateur background. Very quick fight. Golovkin lands a right cross. First one keeping his gloves up and focusing on defense. Now he tries a big shot and lands a right. Good right hand one. Golovkin wants to punctuate the round with something. Gets in a right cross. In his corner. You heard them asking him. The opponents increased their speed and power of punches. Although Stevens managed to land several precise hits on Golovkin, the Kazakhstani responded in kind with heavy punches of his own. But he's not throwing it as much. Just a few seconds before the end of the round, Gennady knocks down his opponent with a devastating left hand punch. Even though the American managed to get up, dazed and disoriented, the sound of the gong prevented Golovkin from finishing the job and sending him home for good. Stairs, misses with the left hook, lands a right hand, wobbles Stevens with it. One more right hand. In the following rounds, the opponents displayed a fierce fight. Especially, Golovkin's punches seemed devastating. While Stevens did land some punches, they had no significant effect on the Kazakhstani. Putting the jab out would allow him to see where to throw. Body shot by Stevens and another one. Body shot for Golovkin, this with the right hand. He's got Stevens pinned against the ropes. And now Stevens are up. Even though Golovkin's won all the rounds, Stevens is exposing the vulnerability to speed. Right uppercut. He's landed some good shots in this round. Now Golovkin with a body shot and a right cross. Golovkin's winning it, but it's a real fight as we get within 40. We're told that Mrs. Rozier, uh, wife Barbara, used to walk the perimeter of the upper deck. is trying his best to stay in the middle of the ring. And now Golovkin tries to back. Golovkin's done a great job. And for Golovkin, though, he doesn't really have to feed his coat. Good right hand at once. Very difficult to ingest all of that because so many instructions coming from so many... In the eighth round, Golovkin intensified his attack, driving his opponent from corner to corner. The American boxer, unable to retaliate due to the overwhelming onslaught, managed to endure until the end of the round, but his trainer decided to call off the fight, prioritizing his health, which is always of utmost importance. In this round, thunder on the square guard. Stevens seeming to give it to stop the ref from stopping it. 
big right cross by Golovkin. Whipping Curtis Stevens into the corner. And he makes it up. And they're gonna stop it in the corner. That's a great stop in My last question for him, just, I ask him. You serious? You serious? Okay, yeah, I'm serious. Okay, man. Thus, the Kazakhstani boxer achieved his 28th victory and received $400,000 for, for this fight, while the American earned $200,000. Although it's half of what Golovkin received, we believe this amount should fully suffice for Stevens to recover and take care of his health. Importantly, after the fight, Curtis Stevens apologized for all the words he had said before the match.